I vibe coded this trading journal with AI coding in a matter of minutes. This was done on base 44. And before we get into the tutorial, let me quickly show you what all features are there. So if you click on new trade, you can enter any symbol, any stock symbol, which you want to enter. You can select the sectors, whether it's consumption, financial, you can select your strategy. You can select capital allocation, trade type, position type. I'm just going to enter like a random quantity out here and an entry price. And also you can uh, select the date from the calendar. So what is your entry date going to be? What is your exit going to be? I'm going to leave exit empty because I want to create an open position. Then you can write your notes as well out here. So I'm just quick gonna write good candlestick pattern and that's why I took the trade and you can even upload a chart out here how cool is that and this is where you save the trade and that's it boom the trade is saved now on the main dashboard you can even see what is the sector allocation where whether it's heavy on the tech side the finance side the chemical side you get a performance over time metric as well you can see your recent trades which were done you can also see your active positions now you can also go to trade history and see what all trades you have taken recently you can also go to your analysis this sector and find out your best and worst trade, your profit factor, your win rate, your average win and losses, your performance by strategy, whether earnings play was a good good play, whether market hedging was good play. Then you also have like a trading rules page where I can I basically wanted to add my own rules. So I'm just going to enter something random out here. Random rule. Let me just also write a description out here that this is a random rule. Don't give your stop losses or obey your stop losses, something like that. So that's the random rule which I created. You can create any rule, of course, you know, whatever trading rule which actually matters to you. So as you can see, this is you, you also get your quick stats on the left hand side where you know what your win rate is, your total PNL and everything. And you also get to see this little profile card which also has a trading capital which you're using for your journal so let's quickly now learn how i created this so the first thing which i did was basically you have to sign up after that all you have to do is you have to come on the landing page the home page of base 44 and write what you want to create out here i'm going to give a very very basic prompt which is i want to create a trading journal and immediately after the prompt the web app starts working for you and starts creating your trading journal at first, the AI is just going to use his own logic to create the journal, which is to be created. And after that, once the basic structure has been created, you can start prompting the AI to get the necessary features which you want. So once it's done analyzing, I think, yeah, there, our trading dashboard is officially ready. Right now, it doesn't have certain features what I showed you in the introduction. But let's see first what all it has created. So out here, you can see the recent trades, which is there on the right hand side. The performance over time is there. The trading history is there where some mock trades have been taken already just to show you how the trading history will look the new trade section is there the dashboard is there the, our main dashboard so yeah it has its win rate it has its average win it has the total trades which are written out here and it looks pretty neat like this this is something which i think i would take um, a whole day to create but yeah ai has just created it in a couple of minutes now let me just enter a mock trade out here so i've gone into the new trade section i've entered coal india trade type buy position type long quantity i'm just going to enter a random quantity and an, a random entry price and i'm going to enter an entry date and i'm going to leave again the exit date open so that the trade is open out here you can also see uh, the things which are written on the right hand side which is which has like a pln pnl calculator which is pretty cool so yeah all i'm going to do out here is now save the trade and the trade has been saved so as you can see on the recent trades coal india has come as the recent trade over here if i go to the trade history also i can see the trade which i've taken from the the new trade and i can as i said before on the dashboard it's already shown on the right hand side in the recent trades that coal india has been taken which is so it's so awesome now let's start building some features so basically i as a trader use the vcp pattern the volatility contraction pattern and for that there are a couple of things which i do track down which is the sector rotation and uh, the sector analysis which i do because i want to actually pick stocks only from the trending sector so what i'm going to do right now is give it a prompt to create certain features just for my style of trading now you can do the same for your style of trading so whatever features which you want you can just then start prompting the ai to create those features and let's see how it starts creating and how does it start shaping up on your main dashboard so the prompt which i actually wrote right now is on my main page can i get a view of my active trades 
And can I also have a separate analysis page where I can see my trading performance? So after I enter the prompt, the AI has already gotten to work and started creating those features for you. In the meantime, let's check what all these other features are. So we have the preview, which is the preview of the dashboard. We can refresh the page out here. We can also publish. So in publishing, you can, you get your own available do domains, which are there. But that's another whole different topic, which I don't want to get into in this video. I just want to show you how cool vibe coding is, how cool AI coding is, and the, the potential of what all you can create with it. Now, lastly, I also want to show you that it is completely responsive as well. So when you do click on the mobile viewport, you can see our main dashboard. It has the, the trades and the recent trades, um, the total PNL. It has a tray as well, where you can see the, the new trades, the trade history and analysis and everything else. So yeah, I think the AI is done. And as you guys can see out here, I can see my active positions as well out here the trades which have taken the trades which have entered and not exited. So these are my active position. I am not liking the how it's pushed on the right side. I would like it to take the whole space on our main dashboard. So I'm going to start writing another prompt out here. Can the active position section take the full width before we hit enter on this? Let me also check the analysis page, which it has created. And I'm, I'm loving it. Actually, it has the win rate. It has the average win loss ratio, the performance by strategy. So it, it looks amazing. So the, yeah, let me just continue the prompt because I completely spaced out on it. So let me complete that. So the prompt I was writing, let me just continue that. Can the active position section have full width on the main page so that the visual is clear? Also, I want something more with it. So in the analysis section and on the analysis page, I also want to see my best trade and the worst trade. So I'm going to go ahead and give that prompt as well. So in the analysis tab, can I also see can also view the best trade and my worst trade. And let me also see if there's anything else which I want to add. Of course, remember what I told you about sector analysis and the type of sector which that stock is in. I want to see that as well. But I also want to have the ability to upload a chart. So I'm going to quickly I'm, I'm writing this prompt as well that when I'm placing a new trade, can I also have the ability to upload a chart so I can see that later. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just basically going to let this prompt go. Let it create on that. And then I'm going to give uh, the sector type and also the allocation of that particular stock in that sector, the quantity and the price, the investment which is done in that sector. I'm going to enter that later. So let me just go ahead with this. Let the let the A. I create the features out here so we can view it once before creating another prompt. All right, it's done. So even that took a minute. So as you guys can see, the active position card took the whole has taken the whole width now. So it's spread across the whole dashboard and looks more appealing and looks more clear. The second thing which we had entered was we wanted to basically see in our analysis the best and the worst trade. So we have that as well. The, our best trade was apparently Apple and our worst trade where we booked a loss was Tesla. So that is amazing as well. And the third thing which we had the third prompt which we had entered was can I upload a chart whenever I take a new trade. Can I upload a chart so I can see that later? And that's done as well. So we can upload a file out here. We can upload a chart as you saw in my intro. So whenever you want to take that new trade, you can upload a chart out there as well so that you can reflect or see or study it later or as to like why that trade was your best trade or your worst trade. Now, another thing I really want is basically I want to see the, the quick stats of my performance on the dashboard itself. So the thing which I've typed out here that in the sidebar itself, can you create a section that gives me quick stats as a trader? And other than that, can you also create a separate page where I can just type out generic rules that can be published and edited for me to see? And again, the AI has um, gotten to work. So let me just fast forward that. So here we go. Now we also have that quick stats, uh, which is there available on the left hand side of our dashboard, which looks really cool. It shows our total trades, the win rate, the PNL and our active trades as well. And then we also have our trading rules. So out here you can basically create your own rules. You can add your own rules, which will be published out here for you to basically see. I'm just going to delete one rule and see if it actually works as well. OK, and there we go. So it, it works great. I'm just going to test this out real quick. So for the title, I've written 
tranche position sizing and for the description i'm just going to write that the tranche position should not exceed more than 0.25 percent and now when i create the rule it's done it's published and i can edit it as well or i can delete it now another feature as a trader which i do want is basically i want to see what kind of capital i have invested and how do the trades sort of react to that capital so on my main page i basically just want a card which says where i can just enter the capital with which i'm trading with so i'm going to give it again a simple prompt that on my main page i want another card where i'm using where i can see the total capital i'm using and also i want to add another feature remember we we talked about sector so i want to add that as well in this prompt so also when i take a new trade there should be options from which sector i'm taking the trade and these are the options finance consumption industrial tech chemical I also want to enter how much percent allocation of capital I have done in that particular trade. And with that, I also want to have another card on my main page, which gives me the breakdown of capital allocation I have done sector wise. All right. So it's gotten to work. Let's just wait for a minute and boom, it's created. <laughs> So we have the trading capital. I can just enter the capital which I'm using currently, which is going to be $20,000. I'm going to save that. And uh, you can see this beautiful sector allocation card out here as well, where whatever trades I've taken are from the chemical and the finance sector. So let me put that to test as well. So I'm going to take a new trade. So I've picked up a symbol from the finance stocks and HDFC bank sector is going to be finance. Strategy is going to be breakout. Capital allocation is going to be 1%. The trade type is going to be buy, position type long. Again, with the price and quantity, I'm just going to enter random numbers over here. But before that, let me just write a quick random note as well. So I'm taking this trade because the chart pattern or the candlestick pattern looked good. And let me just also enter the, the quantity, the entry price, entry date real quick. And after I'm done that, I'm simply going to save the trade. So let me just give it a random date. Everything else is given, save trade. And there we go. Now you can see the chart, the sector allocation chart has changed. So yes, the chart also reacts that the, the coding logic which is working at the back end is also correct and it's beautiful. This is amazing. There's so many. I know that this also needs a little bit work in terms of design, but I think many things can be done. I think there's a documentation on design as well, which I have to explore. But even this basic stuff has a lot of potential. So what I'm also currently doing out here is I'm going to enter the technology sector as well, because I want to actually see if it comes on that pie chart. So I'm going to give it a, a random entry date. I've already entered the quantity, the entry price. I'm going to upload a chart. Let me see that again. I'm just going to pick a random chart of which I trade on and yeah, save the trade. And there we go. So we have the technology uh, section also, which has been included in the pie chart. Now, I also wanted to see if I could just add a button where upon clicking the, the program could hear my voice and take trades. But sadly, my credits are over and I think this is going to be the end of the lesson. But there's lastly some some other thing which I wanted to show you was are basically these other options which are there. The, so basically, if you click on this, you can see the files which are created, the JSX files, and you can even export this on GitHub. But of course, you need that upgraded paid subscription account or you could export this as a zip file as well. So you can have the whole code to yourself. So if you are a programmer, you can actually then make changes and make this whole thing much more better. You can add many other features, which probably this base 44 cannot create, but eventually, yeah, I think it can create most of the things. Now, again, this is the billing section, so it's going to be $20 a month, which is, I think, a very feasible price to pay for something as cool as this. But I think I'm just going to write a mail to base 44 to give me some more credits for making this video. Fingers crossed. <laughs>